us, and today I'll be teaching about core training. Okay, just some of the basic muscles that are involved with the core. Uh, one would be transverse abdominis, rectus abdominis, your external oblique, your erector spinae, and your multifidus muscle. I mean, there's a lot more whenever you're training core, like there's a lot more muscles that are involved, but these were just kind of the basic. Uh, some of the benefits, um, greater efficiency of movement, just like whenever you're doing like power cleans and stuff like that, it's just engaging your core just helps you move the weight as easy as possible. Uh, improve body control and balance, um, it helps you, like if your core is stable, it helps you not sway or just move back and forth. Um, increased power output from both the core, musculature, and peripheral muscles such as the shoulders, arms, and legs. Um, also reduced risk of in injury. Uh, the core muscles act as a shock absorber for jumps and rebounds. And usually people, whenever you think of that, you think of your knees, your legs, and everything like that, but also your core also takes some of that and also improve balance and stability. Uh, signs of a weak core, uh, if you have poor posture, most likely you have a weak core. Uh, muscles that make up your abdomen and lower back help to stabilize your pelvis and spine, keeping your upper back and shoulders in a neutral position, not like hunched forward or too far back. And then uh, hollowing is where um, it's another potential sign of weak core muscles and in the, in, is the inability to hollow your stomach, which is whenever you take a deep breath and as you exhale, pull your belly button toward your spine and hold for a count of 10 and then release. If you're unable to do that, usually it's a good indication that you have a weak core. Um, some other causes of weak core, um, this is basically, basically more of like, just like the lower back problems. Uh, weaker core, the controlled core muscles have been associated with low back pain. Uh, the back muscles are responsible for movements such as extension and flexion, and also like spine, well, flexion of the spine and rotation of the trunk. Uh, excesses are excessive or uneven shock on the spine may lead also might lead to back problems. Uh, this may be exaggerated uh, because weak core muscles lead to improper positioning or a forward tilt. And in many exercises that use the back muscles, the abdominal muscles contract isometrically, stabilizing the body. And the stronger and more correctly balanced the core muscles are, the less the uneven strain on the spine. Uh, just some equipment use, just like whenever you're doing uh, core training, which is something like you use medicine ball, uh, stability ball, uh, ankle weights just to make it a little bit harder, and dumbbells, and also barbells. Uh, the best core exercises, core exercises are most effective when you engage many of the muscles, not just focusing on one. Uh, core muscles need to work as a unit, to contract at the same time, cross joints in order to stabilize the spine. Some of the best core exercises are simple body weight exercises, and some of them could be just as easy as, you know, you're starting to over a press, you're sitting down on the bench, just like so to stabilize your back, just like standing up and doing it helps you really use your core a little bit more. And uh, just got some exercises. So I guess you use like your basic ones, you know, your sit up, your scissor kicks, or also like all flutter kicks, and then a plank. Now with each of these, there are also like different variations. Like with the sit ups, you can just change your hand positions, do like behind your head or across your body. Uh, plank, you can do like one arm, like it's in the picture, or you can do like just on your elbows, just like a normal plank. There's just some more exercises. These are usually like the easier ones. They're uh, crisscross, the crossover crunch, a normal crunch, flutter kicks, same things like a scissor kick, and then uh, heel touches. Um, these are like the more difficult ones. I just kind of picked four. There's I mean, a lot more out there. Um, the one on the top right is called a banana roll. It's where you lay, just like flat up your arms and legs up, and then you just rotate onto either your stomach or your back. And barbell floor wipers. Top left. It's just using, and then uh, dragon flies from the bottom right corner, and then the L sit, which is usually mostly you see in like gymnastics and stuff like that. And then going to the back, uh, which is another part of your core. Uh, uh, first one at the top right is your deadlift, just like a basic, just back, lower back exercise, and back extension. Pretty much the same thing as Superman in that bottom right hand corner. This is pretty much just like lifting your arms and your legs off the ground. 
the last one I just I found this I thought it was I think it would be a pretty good indicator of your core strength just like core strength tests you saw it, it's just pretty much about like three minute plank it's pretty much about what it is uh, you start at just a normal plank hold it for six seconds and then you lift your right arm up for 15 and then put it down to the left arm and then uh, you do that you go to your right leg comes up and your left leg comes up and you hold it 15 seconds then do the same for the other side and then once you get towards the end then you just hold the home plank for 30 seconds and pretty much it's just like a pass or fail type test um, this was on I think webmd.com I'm pretty sure uh, yeah pretty much if you can complete it then it's pretty much your core strength is good and if you don't then it's you actually I guess have poor core strength